Take action, make special, switch to doing, commit, commit to yourself, commit to your loved ones, commit when nobody is looking, no looking back, no more waiting. There is no such thing as perfection. Only now. Make adjustments while in motion. No more procrastination. Be a door. Get idea, move forward immediately. No pausing and waiting, do it now. Difficulty is the act. All else is tenacity. You gotta quit with the overthinking. Don't get paralysis over analysis. Just move forward. Action cures fear. You gotta get up, get out, and get something. Fear is an illusion. Best time is present. Abolish distractions. Action opens new worlds. The time will not be right. There is no right time. You're waiting for something that doesn't exist. Apply, do, work backwards. Reality into dreams, actions destroy procrastination in pessimism. Do most important first, less resistance. Detach from inaction. Freedom and relief. Keep doing what you like. Don't hurt yourself. There is no escaping yourself. Remember to focus. Prioritize your life. Write down goals. Be accountable. Learn how to. Dot, 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 dot. Don't dwell on what ifs. How to. What can you do? How can you learn from situations? You are not the main character in other people's lives. You are not the main character in other people's lives. Star in your story. Be inspired. Look into enthusiasm. Digest what makes you joyous. Appreciate and celebrate wins. Woohoo! Happen to things. Action is difficult. Don't be too serious. Choose instead of should. Don't overthink. Start small. Understand your fears. Failure is a stepping stone. Learn as you go. Forget desired outcomes. On purpose. Avoid instant gratification. Action creates action. World will not be conquered in a day. Start. Eliminate excuses. If you look for delay, you will find it. Dive in. Drive through the target. Get to work. Now is the moment. Get into the process. Prioritize reason for actions. Empower. Shorten, Shorten thinking, thinking process. process. Take action now. <laughs>
He was born in Spain, did his first few films in Spain, went to America, couldn't get a job, and then ended up in Mexico City for like 30 or 40 years and did you know tons of films out of Mexico. Towards the end of his career, he got a couple gigs doing some films back again in Spain. And then these are his last three films before he died. The last one was filmed in 1977, I believe he was 77. And, or he was 77 when they filmed it, so it was probably filmed in 76, I'm just guessing, but somewhere in that thing. Those were filmed in France. So these three are all in French. So it's interesting, Spanish speaker from Spain who did most of his films in Mexico, who's now doing a French speaking film. A lot of them have the same type of characters, but just the, the shots and the artistic value of cinema and the way he, he goes about it like a master, it's beautiful, really good films, interesting. The Obscure Object of Desire is really interesting because I believe it might have been the very first film ever to have two different female actresses play one character. So I had read the pamphlet that kind of came with it, so I, I was prepared for it. And they don't look necessarily the same. One's a French actress, the other is a uh, girl from South America, I believe, or Colombia. She's Colombian, I think. And they're both brunettes, obviously, but they play the same girl. It's super wild, kind of how they went about it and how he breaks it down. He thought it'd be lame. Then his buddy was like, that's awesome. And they had fired the original chick, brought her on, and rock and roll. But beautiful, masterful works of cinema by a dude who really understood the whole thing. And his, his gags or his sarcasm towards terrorism and you know capitalism and, and everything is really, really good. Got to peep it out. I'm going to check out his other films because those are the first things I've seen of him. And they just got better, you know, as you started with the first of the last three. Bam, bam, bam. Also watched Guest House uh, starring Pauly Shore, which I've always been a huge Pauly Shore fan. I think he's hilarious, but, you know, he kind of died out or he, he had his thing going and he came back and went back off or whatever. This is hilarious, dude. It's got, you know, Bobby Lee's in it and um, Eric Griffin. And it's just classic funny. You know, he's some dude whose parents just died and... He owned the house, but he was living in the guest house. They can't evict him, and he parties and does bong rips and blow and naked chicks and, you know, just hilarious. It's just really funny, and uh, we love Pauly Shore. It's cool to see him back. I don't know when the last time he did a movie, but he's right back at it, and it's it's really good. And I I don't hear anybody ever talking about it, so shout out Polly the Weasel, buddy. <laughs> yeah, so that's movies for this week. Luis Bunuel is fantastico. Uh, definitely check him out. Obviously, if... He's been doing it that long, and everybody loves him. There's a reason, and if you love cinema, he's the man. Paul Walker killed it, running scared. Concrete Jungle is a goodie, oldie but goodie, never known. Check it out. You probably like it. Spend your time watching it. Guest House, hilarious. Also finished reading this week, Finding the Sacred Self. This is a really good book. Um, it's basically a shamanic workshop. So her ordeal was kind of like Carlos Castaneda, except without the drugs, right? So to find your way to nature and your ancestors, your protector, the shadow people, uh, lucid dreaming, uh, psychic surgery, just all the fantastic stuff. It's got a bunch of workbooks to work out meditations and stuff to contact our ancestors and super interesting, but basically... It's all the stuff that people use drugs like ayahuasca or mushrooms or peyote to be able to get into that inner sacred self, but without any of that and just focusing on being able to get there naturally. I, I'm really into these kind of spirituality, meditation, personal transformation books. It reminds me of like a lot of like Native American type literature, which I've been collecting for a while. I haven't really read. This is probably the first thing like that I have read. Really good. Highly worth a read if you're interested in any of that stuff. It really breaks it down. It also has note section and, and ways to actually implement it and to accomplish those goals, which I didn't really do. I did kind of mentally, but it, and I did meditate a little bit from when they said in the beginning, but I didn't you know, project my, my protector energy and, and stuff like that or talk to shadow people or anything or shadow voices or tree people or tree voices or any of that fun stuff. But it's interesting to know it exists. You know it's real, but you can't really grasp it and you know, some people are going to think you're nuts, but whatever. Great book. I'd peep it out. Finding the Sacred Self. Uh, and that being said, just read. Read more books. Stay away from baloney. Be all you can be while not being what you isn't. Uh, pod kids as an ass. Thinking about just everything. The way the world turns. Where it's going. How we got there. And I don't have answers. Nor do I think I'll get answers, nor should I probably be looking for answers. 
but yet I still find myself spinning the wheel on the treadmill to nowhere helping you help yourselves help the world Boy, stay amazing read more books contemplate be the best you pie cast zip